Paul, I'm sure every League One manager would like to know the answer to this question, but how do you stop Bolton? <laughs> Play well, compete physically, um, try not to give too many set players away. When you do, you know, do everything you can to make it difficult for the opposition, or you, you know, direct opponent to you know get any free headers. Um, but ultimately, really play well yourself to give you any chance. You know, if we're, I don't know, at something like seventy-five percent of his ability on Saturday, we've got no chance. If we're up above over ninety percent of what we can do, we might have a bit of a chance. But they have got a clear target of what they're going for and what they're trying to achieve. And at the minute, that's um, coming good for them. And, and as we said, they're in excellent form. So, difficult time to play them, but they were in, I think, pretty good form. In fact, well, they were because I can remember coming back from a game that I was watching and they'd just beaten someone at home and said, next up it's Shrewsbury Town. And it was like, oh, great. Uh, <laughs> can't wait to go there on Boxing Day. But we <clears throat> equipped ourselves well on the day and we know there was a major decision that perhaps cost us a point at least would have had a chance to take a point if the penalty had been awarded as it should have been. Um, so we've shown it can be done. You know, they, they've changed a few, couples moved on. They've now brought in other players that seem to be contributing just as much. Um, but you don't always expect a, a Bolton team in this league to to have good players and, and be right up there. Is it too much?